Bye, sweetie. Yeah. Bye, sweetie. Listen. Hey, 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 hey. I would be on top. You would be on top? Yeah, you would be on top. Oh, okay. Yeah, sweetie. I, 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 I would, I would hold you, you down. <laughs> you hear that? Hey, you guy, he wants ass. to fuck me in the ass. Yeah, he uh, wants yeah, to yeah, fuck yeah. me in the ass, guys. I'm, I'm don't, don't being, you know I'm using I'm my, gay. Everybody I'm my gay. first member. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek, and first and foremost, I want to thank you for all the followers, all the subscribers, all the nice comments that came about yesterday's stream. There was a lot of people on there, a lot of good people, and there were some bad people that are just followers of Mr. Sweetie himself. Um, you know, I want to go ahead and say I carried myself a little too cringy yesterday. And what I mean by that, I was actually cursing a whole lot more than I should have. Um, I was trying to get his attention. I was trying to challenge his masculinity, which he has a problem with, a serious problem with. First and foremost, second, second and foremost? Yeah, yeah. Okay, what I'm saying here is an opinion. It's protected by the United States First Amendment. I can't prove this. I can't. It's just my opinion. Anyways, anyways. We question, we challenge his masculinity, which he likes to say he's the alpha male whenever people call him out, and uh, we kind of have we kind of see what happen. You call him sweetie, that gets his attention. So you're challenging his masculinity right there, and he goes into something really bizarre, threatening to have sex with me, trying to said he'll be on top of me. I'm pretty sure that's sexual harassment, pretty sure. Uh, but I'm not going to be doing any suing because I'm not that kind of low wet of beta cup. I'm just not. I'm just not. You see, one of the funny things about yesterday's stream, there was not a thousand people there. Not for him. We have on video all the people that were supporting him. And it was two people. Himself and the other gray-headed guy that follows him everywhere like a tuck. Like a puppy with his tail being wings like. Now this guy, this guy, I don't know his name. I don't really care what his name is. And quite frankly, from what I hear about him, and I will not disclose it, uh, quite unprofessional for what you do for a living. Calling me a rude, foul-mouthed fat ass right after, right actually right before Sweetie threatened to have sex with me on camera. Which, I will include that clip. It's it's there. It's there. See, he has this thing against... I, I believe he's a homophobe. Just my opinion. I, I think that. I think he's so afraid to be called out. And he's afraid of his sexuality. That... He just can't handle it. He just can't handle it. And we kind of proved that. Calling him sweetie is perfect. And I want to thank Blue Bacon... Blue Bacon actually gave, I had the idea for me actually watching the stream he had. And he threatened Blue Bacon saying he would not say that to his face, which I did multiple times. Funny thing, funny thing is during the stream, we saw all of his so-called supporters, which is just him and the other guy. I don't know his name. Don't care. Don't care. I just know he's with him all the time. Could be Sweetie's boyfriend. Don't know. Just my opinion. Maybe. So, <laughs> last night, I was actually, you know, running around town and stuff, doing my thing. And I got some messages. And I will post these pictures of these messages. Because they got deleted immediately afterwards. See, one of the things that I come to find out is that when Deletes Law Sweetie makes a comment on somebody's video... And some people give him backlash for it. He deletes it. And then he says he never done it. But I do have proof and I will show that. There's actually two little things where he said, why did you put my name in your video? Last time I checked, sir, your name's not Sweetie. Is it? Are you telling us something that your name is Sweetie? Because we are going to call you Sweetie from here on out. And it's just my opinion that your name is Sweetie. I can't prove that. But with your message, your bizarre message that you deleted, and like I said, I'll put that on the screen here. That way you guys can see that he actually had two comments. One where he complimented uh, his boyfriend uh, for calling me a fat ass. And, you know, one where he's basically 
questioning why I put his name on this video, which I didn't. I said his channel name deletes laws, but I never said his actual name. I said his name is Sweetie. Last time I checked, there's not a Sweetie that runs delete laws. So therefore, he has a problem. Maybe that is his alter ego. Maybe he is Sweetie. Maybe calling him out on his masculinity done some serious damage. You can actually see how he acted. Like, like I said, he immediately went through, told me he would like to be on top of me and having sex with my butt. We do have that on camera. That is sexual harassment. That is. Totally is. I, I guess you don't know that. But somebody that knows the law should know that. We have it on camera. And I'll include it on this clip here. So, sweetie, go home. Anyways, anyways, he got back out to uh, Ironton and he went through Speedway and everything, trying to collect people to join his cult-like status. And some people, I, I feel sorry for these people. You know, this guy is leading these people into a lawsuit type or government type situation that they're not going to be able to handle. Because what he does is, sure, he fills out uh, the paperwork, helps him fill it out, and he requests to have power of attorney. But what happens when he leaves and these people have to fight this case on their own? I'm not saying that he would have been able to help them to begin with, because pretty much everything he says is flawed, and we can prove that. Like, one of the things he was saying is if people was to buy a car from that auction, he would be getting it back. Which, last time I checked, that is fully legal. And I actually have somebody that reached out to me. Just wanted to say this, and I'm not going to say the name. Just wanted to mention something that you may find interesting on your video from today. Check out Columbus, Cleveland, Cincinnati, or any other city in Ohio. We are consistent with every city. The case law the genius cited was for private business, not government entities. Cities, uh, cities that I have mentioned have whole staffs dedicated impound vehicle auctions. This can be easily researched online. So Chile got that wrong. He did. He got that wrong. He thinks he got it right. His fans think he has it right. But what's ultimately going to happen is when he leaves town, he says he's moving to town, but he's not. He's not. He probably says this everywhere he goes. He packs up and goes town to town. He's sleeping on whoever his boyfriend is at the time. But probably the guy he's, who's following him around right now. The one that called me a fat ass, if you guys remember. Now, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm not trying to be a jerk. And I'm not trying to, you know bait him but really really i think yesterday was a good example of what kind of person he actually is how big of a liar he actually is see nobody's shown up to his uh what was it some little rally he wanted to pass around no new jail flyers all over ironton which nobody shown up probably his boyfriend uh that follows him around We're, we will call him his boyfriend at this point i don't know if that his is his boyfriend. It's my opinion that it is, but I don't know for sure. I can't prove that. All I know is he follows him everywhere he goes, and uh, yeah, he has got his mind stuck on this guy. So I'm, what I'm thinking is this guy is trying to uh, appeal to Mr. Sweetie, which I'm sure it's working really well, really well, since he nailed it. We'll post that comment too. But he deleted his comments that he made to me, and I will post them. I will also post this clip of him threatening to have sex with me. I will post that as well. It is my legal right to actually do that. That was a public event. I was allowed to record. I was. So if, sweetie, sweetie, if you have any more threats, Keep doing that. If you want to hurt the people in this town, keep trying to do that. People are eventually going to turn against you. 
Now, I don't know how many of the 30,000 people or actually accounts that you pay for to get subscribers, which you might do that. I can't prove that. Can't prove it. That is a thing that can happen. You could buy your own subscribers. You could do that. That is possible. There's also bots to inflate views. Now, you have your little cults of, communi of community attacking people. And that's, that's, that's fine. That's fine. But when you start making threats, then we have a problem. Now, I'm not going to sue you unless I have to. You see, I have spoke to people about what you said to me with the evidence. And they are in agreement. That is sexual harassment. That is against the law. And you're supposed to be for the law, deleting laws. But apparently you don't know anything about it. You say you do. You fill out papers. You try to take people's money. You're just a grifter. Take your headphones off so you can hear. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure they need replaced. Get, get your community to buy you some new uh, headphones. While you're at it, get you some torture cuffs. You know, it'd be kind of funny if you actually got put into torture cuffs, put back into jail. You was agging on a lot of people there. You could have got seriously hurt. Now, I know you're alpha, and you said you can take anybody there, but then you threatened to sue everybody there, which we have proof of that, too. We have all the proof. We have it. Nothing's been doctored. We have that. I don't know what else to tell you, man. So I'm going to put these comments on this video, and I will also include the clip where you said that to me. That is illegal. That is illegal. That is suable. That's no exaggeration. And we'll see. If you make threats to me, we'll see. I'm not going to take you to court. I don't really care. I'm not going to stoop that low. I'm not a pussy. I'm not a pussy like you. I'm not going to say I want to sue you or try to have the cops arrest me. But you didn't do that. And you didn't threaten to sue me. But I've seen you threaten some few people that you was going to sue them. And that's what you do. You're afraid. You're a coward. You're a dumbass, in my opinion. It's just what you are. You're fake. You're a snake oil salesman. You think you're on this grand mission from God, which you're not. I, I, last I heard, you don't believe in God. So, you know, you said you was put on this earth to do this one thing. And Terry versus Ohio, which you really don't understand, from what I can tell. Now, I'm not a lawman. I don't know a lot about the law. I don't, I don't really care. I don't really care. I live my life day by day, like everybody else. The one thing I hate is bullies and liars. And that's exactly what you are. You're a bully. You're a liar. You're a homophobe. You're a racist. All of that is my opinion, though. I can't prove any of that. I cannot do that. I am thankful for the First Amendment right to protest you. I am thankful for my freedom of speech to share that opinion. So please, continue. Like I said, we'll include screenshots of those comments that you deleted because you're a pussy, in my opinion. And we'll also include the clip of you threatening to have sex with me, which is sexual harassment. Good job, bud. Good job. Good job. Have fun.